All right, straight, man. Gotta get the camera rolling again. Um, all right, I'm back for um, another video this time. I'm trying to get some consistency going this time. And, ew, bro. My hair's not overly greasy. I just got out of the shower hair. I'm uh, really big on hygiene. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna cut right to the chase on this video hair. Um, somebody just asked recently if I could tour with any one band, who would it be? And uh, I actually do not have just one band. I have an extensive list that's probably just completely infinite. Um, actually, I would have loved to have toured with Aiden while they were still a band, but I know uh, William's off doing his own record label and his own personal music now, so that's real cool. Um, but I would definitely have to put Avenged Sevenfold. I've always been a longtime fan of theirs. I think I discovered them back when uh, City of Evil came out. Um, I, I actually wound up discovering Bring Me the Horizon through their old material when they were kind of like in the metalcore vein as well. But uh, that was like with like Waking the Fallen and Sounding the Seventh Trumpet. But yeah, I got to see them live too. Great musicians. Um, I've always been very nice individual, so I would definitely love to tour with Avenge Sevenfold. Bring me the horizon as well. I saw them at Rock on the Range and I've always loved all their music that they do. I'm in full support of everything from the metalcore to the more alternative stuff that they're doing, or whatever you want to call it. So that would be, um, I could totally dig that. Uh, Metallica would be sick. ACDC as well. Two of my favorite bands. Um, Black Sabbath would have been fun as well, actually. Which, um, that was a real... It's kind of sad to see some of these, uh, rockers that I grew up watching and idolizing that are starting to pass away, both, uh, in ACDC, Black Sabbath, um, Lincoln Park. Too many, too many, really. Uh, Blood Ceremony. They're right out of, uh, anybody who doesn't know Blood Ceremony, they're out of Canada. They are really, really good. And, um, let's see. Billy Talent, right out of Canada as well, actually. I've always liked their music. Um, I would also put Teenage Wrist on that list as well. They bring, like, a real nice 90s vibe. And, um, let's see, on a, per a very personal one would definitely be, um, Marilyn Manson. He's always been a very huge inspiration in my life, both musically, creatively, and, and just individually as a person, so, um, that would be really... That'd be freaking awesome to actually be on a tour with them, but I'm hoping to at least meet them one day at least. But I don't know, we'll see what happens there. Um, I would actually, uh, I would definitely uh, would love to tour with Kerbera. They're out of uh, Stockholm, Sweden. They're uh, another one of my favorite bands. Very nice individuals as well. I really enjoy their musicianship and just their general, their general nature. They're very uh, warm individuals. Really like that, and they have a uh, positive a lot of positive vibes with their music, that's great. Um, actually another band out of Stockholm, or not out of Stockholm, but out of Sweden, they're actually out of Gothenburg, is uh, Dream Drop. Really love their music as well. Very original stuff, and again, super nice individuals. Killer, killer music. They're definitely a good band to uh, check out that's rising up. Um, I would, um, a screen and Medjibray would be a lot of fun as well, and, um, let's see. It would be a little weird with the language barrier between, uh, our band and Medjibray, but, you know, what's, what's a language barrier? That's just small stuff. It's like paperwork. It's just paperwork. Even though this one's not on paper, it's a language barrier, but, you know, we'll figure out a way around that. I mean, psh. Ah, he needs it. <laughs> and um, I would have enjoyed touring actually with uh, Christian Death back when they had Roz Williams. 
Not that I, I don't have a problem with Christian Death now, but that's, uh, um, I like Ross Williams. He's, he seems like a cool person. He had, he had a lot of interesting ideas, too. Um, My Chemical Romance, if they were still together. That's another one of my favorite bands. But I am happy that the band members are doing very well now. Um, but still. But still. And then I am also going to have to add Sugar Cold to that list. And, um... Shice, five and a half minutes and we're still going. Anti-Flag, definitely. They're uh, one of my favorite punk bands. Actually, you know, for that matter, see, I want to put Green Day on there. I, li I like their music. I like both bands' music. They're very uh, creative songwriters that go all over the board, and they both bands have a lot of great ideas. Both men, uh, in some cases, are looking at the world and our society at hand, as well as looking introspectively at ourselves, too. And again, always great music. Um, I sure I'm gonna get ready to like wrap this up here, but I would definitely have to put him in the 69 eyes, even though I know him is doing a farewell tour, which I'm really saddened by. They've, I've been, uh, I've, they actually, the very first album I ever bought was Rage Blade Romance by him, with my own actual money. I think the second one was uh, Cypress Hill, Temples of Boom. <laughs> Contrast. But, um, I'm literally gonna wrap this up, dude. System of a Down would be really killer. I've always enjoyed their music and just how just their humor, how out there they are, and just the fact that they just literally do not give a fuck. That's very contagious. <laughs> and then, last two, I promise. Black Veil Brides and Motionless and White. Motionless and White, I have missed them every time they've been around in my area. Because I have either been in the studio or playing a show myself. So I would, it would be really cool to cross paths or join a tour, but again, our bands are somewhat in different veins, but you know, I believe opposites can attract. So, eh. Uh. And as for Black Veil Brides, they're fucking awesome too. And both of our bands came right out of Ohio as well. So. They actually kind of gave me hope when our, the Ohio music scene almost died for a moment because we were like the British child of uh, shit, shit. We, we used to have a hell of a music scene both with like with funk musicians were coming through um, even within rock and now we finally have bands that are popping up again coming out of Ohio as well. So um, I'm going to cut my list off there right now. Because I will literally just keep going and going and going. Um, and any of the bands that I listed, if you do not know who they are, you need to go online and actually look them up. They're all really talented bands and it's very hard to find original music nowadays. No offense to anybody, but there's been a lack of it, so... But yeah, there's just a few of the bands that are still keeping things original and giving rock rebirth and keeping rock alive because rock will never die all right guys if you have any questions comments feel free to ask in the comments send me personal mes messages on twitter facebook or to the ask fm deal all right man later oh no not later now and i have to add save best for last a real crazy motherfucker right out of the UK, my bro, Bailey19, and he, if you do not know his music, you need to know his music as well. His crazy ass dude, if, when he and I eventually meet up an actual person, holy shit, <laughs> things are gonna, we're gonna see who gets arrested first. That's right bro, when, when you see this man, one day we literally need to freaking tour man. That'll be hella, hella fun. So again, go and look up all these artists, or I swear, something bad will happen. Something. So, you know, think about that. Just think about that. Think about that. I feel awkward now. I'm, bye. <laughs>